Well, if you notice, there's a empty spot on top of my fridge. Well, my fire extinguisher where my Panasonic stereo used to be. Well, it has moved. Look, I been cleaning my cooktop. It's starting to look good again. First time I think I've seen that chrome shine in a long time, if ever. But there's the stereo. <laughs> And the speakers. I took the Dayton B652s out of the bathroom. Because they've got Walmart brackets uh, built in. The Sonys did not. So I swapped the Sonys with the B652s. There went the uh, cassette. And I just uh, found a good spot on each side for them. Got a wire running from here over to here. And then... This right here is a telephone wire. Now, I'm this Panasonic puts out, you know, very, very little power, so don't need anything too big. This is not an audio file set up by any means. So I just got a, you know, let's splice back here to the line going on over to the left speaker, and then the right speaker hooked up. About the best way I know to do that. And in case you're wondering about the Christmas lights, those LED Christmas lights are my nightlight in here. A uh, nightlight, uh, it just, I, it's like a lot of light in one spot and I can't see in the other. Where the Christmas lights give me a good even light and I can see what I'm doing of a morning. But anyway, there's, <laughs> that's what I did for the kitchen stereo. Seems, and really, um, that space right there is about the perfect light, uh, bleh, the perfect height for the B652s. They're, they're not very deep, so they don't stick. I mean, it's just a. It's almost like they were made to fit in that little spot right there. Well, if you notice, there's a empty spot on top of my fridge. Well, my fire extinguisher where my Panasonic stereo used to be. Well, it has moved.